My name is Jerry Brisson. I'm president of Transworld Business Advisors of Houston. If you're watching this video and you're thinking about selling your business, I'm sure one of the very first questions you have is, what is my business worth? I'm a certified business intermediary and a certified mergers and acquisitions professional. I've been trained to value businesses and typically provide an opinion of value for one to two businesses every single week. Currently, we have over 100 businesses listed and we have helped the business owners in each case develop a value for their business. Here are the three basic steps to determining the value of your business. Number one, decide on the best methodology to use. Number two, calculate your seller's discretionary earnings. And number three is to determine what an appropriate multiplier will be for your business. With respect to determining the best methodology, number one, there really are 10 different methodologies for determining the value of the business. By far the most common for small and medium-sized business is the market-based method. What the market-based method does is it looks at businesses that are similar to yours and there are databases uh, that keep track of what businesses sell for. And um, so the market-based approach basically uses, uses data that exists for businesses that are similar to yours that have sold in the past. This approach does one of two things. We either take a multiple of your seller's discretionary earnings um, and apply that multiple, or we take a percent of, uh, of your total revenue. By far the most common approach is using a multiple of seller's discretionary earnings. It is the approach that is um, used and accepted by virtually all buyers. The second step in the process is determining what your seller's discretionary earnings are. Seller's discretionary earnings is defined as the financial benefits to one working owner. Basically what we do is we take your tax return and your profit and loss statement and the income that is reported on uh, your tax return or profit and loss statement and we add back uh, items such as uh, owner salary, um, non-cash non items such as depreciation or amortization, um, interest, and non-business expenses. So the third step in the process is determine what the appropriate multiplier of your SDE will be. And multipliers are specific to industries, size of companies, um, performance of your own company, and, uh, and of course, uh, credibility of your financials. So the last step is determining an appropriate multiplier. Valuing a company can be a complicated process. It's something that comes naturally to us because we value several companies every week. If you're thinking of selling your business and you'd like to know what it's worth, give us a call, we'd love to help you out.